He is confined to a wheelchair and he struggles to speak. But that has not stopped a Miller Placeman from continuing his crusade. That's why for his 18th year, Chris Pendergast is on Long Island roads to raise awareness for ALS and give hope to others with that disease. We go along on this year's Ride for Life. Anybody walking with us? Ride for Life, an annual wheelchair ride for ALS patients. We're riding our wheelchairs all the way to Manhattan to raise awareness for Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh, that's something. This year we started at Greenport. We're walking for it, yeah. Stopping at many schools along the way. We're going to be on the road for 12 days. I am more inspired by Chris Pendergast and every single ALS patient that I meet. If Chris gave up, 22 years ago when he was diagnosed as ALS, where would he be right now? Having the extra patients with us really adds to the awareness. Um, people see them riding on the roads. Strike out ALS! We have a new rider with us this year, Dr. Frank Verdone and his wife Mary from Miller Place. And I think the initial reaction was, wow, you know, my, my future's gone. Our future's gone that we had planned. The doctor tells you you have maybe three to five years to live. You know, it, it's, it's very devastating. You now have a new normal. It's not what I would have planned or expected. Hey, thank you so much. We're living for today, and we're, we're trying to find a cure. The sadness doesn't go away. This, like, to explain the sadness in my heart, it'll never be gone. But you just can't let that get the best of you. Strike out ALS. Strike out ALS. My name is Paul Weissman from Bohemia, from Greenport to Manhattan. My goal is to take every single step. As long as God allows me to walk, I'm going to walk. This year, a lot has changed. Because of the Ice Bucket Challenge phenomenon, there's actually tangible hope. We're optimistic that things can change. Today we are at Monument Park. It's the home of Lou Gehrig, and it means so much to come back here and to remember Lou and honor him. Hold me like the River Jordan. I found it very emotional to be here um, watching these patients um, in Gehrig's home. And um, I'm sorry, it's just, uh, it really, it's very, very touching. Yet today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. They're continuing his fight against the ALS. They might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Lou Gehrig. It's very also bittersweet because there's still, after 70-something years, there is no cure, there's no treatment. It's just so sad. We may have ALS, but ALS does not have us. He's an iron horse, just like Lou Gehrig was, and he will not give up. It's a hard two weeks for them, but you know what? Chris is an amazing man, and he's a warrior. He will not stop until he finds that cure for ALS, or he'll die trying. Hmm. The Ride for Life organization has raised more than $5 million. This year, they hope to raise another 250000 If you'd like to find out more information about the Ride for Life, how to donate or volunteer, just head to our website, news12.com.